Well, hey, guess what, guys? It's me, the Ranting Music Reviewer here. And I, now we're going to talk about probably the worst album Led Zeppelin has ever done. Coda. This came out in 1982. But it's really weird that they do it in 1982. You see, you know why? Well, it's because in 1980, the their drummer, John Bottom, died. So it's a cash grab. No, look, I already talked about this in, um... Elvis Sings the Wonderful World of Christmas. Isn't that what it's called? Yeah, I believe so. So yeah, that's when I talked about that, I got the exact same complaint. It's a cash grab. This is Led Zeppelin doing a cash grab of themselves. Of a dead member. So this album shouldn't have even existed. They should have kept it as eight albums exclusively and never made Coda. These just should have been bonus tracks that should have came along around the time. So yeah, overall, that's a issue I have with it already, but maybe it's good. So yeah, this cover is boring, the back is boring, that sticker is only there because this is the reissue that I got once for Christmas. And this picture, collage, Gateful, actually looks pretty nice. It's just a bunch of, but again, that was just a mess up, messy collage. But there's some nice pictures, like this image of uh, them in front of the poster to the song remains the same. It has this paper sleeve. This in, this has no purpose. It's just a bunch of pieces. It's just a sheet of paper. So why does it exist? Come in here. It does. It, it, there's no reason. It just does. So yeah. Now that we have a more a 1980s album, is it any good or is it terrible? It's bad. So we're gonna groove opens it. It has a nice drum groove up to it. Like I do have a drum set, so let me just uh, get it out and you can just hear it. But it was like I'm uh, It's a nice opener, but yeah, and it's not one of my favorite Led Zeppelin songs. Definitely much better. What? I'm just saying what exactly what I said with Archel's Last Stand, but Archel's Last Stand was definitely better than We're Gonna Grow. And yeah, Poor Tom, which... Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine, I guess. I mean, I've heard... I mean, yeah, there's much worse than Led Zeppelin, and it's... But it's definitely not as good as the open track, which definitely is not as good as many other songs I can think of. Now, things get weird when we look at the next song. It's called I Can't Quit You Baby. Now, if you know about Led Zeppelin, you may remember their self-titled album. I mean, of course you did. That was a popular album. But if you do, I, I Can't Quit You Baby, that name rings a bell. That was the, the eighth song on that album. And, it, and um, that was a good version, actually. I mean, it's not a fantastic song, but it's pretty good. And this version is the weaker one. It's just okay. I mean, to be fair... At least, I don't know why they included it. Because I Can't Quit Your Baby is already a song in their discography. Let alone one on their first album, which was very popular. So why didn't they just not do it? Well, I actually have no idea. Yeah. Walter's Walk is, is kind of good, It's kind of good, but I don't know. I don't really, but I don't know. There's a lot of other much better songs. Well, Ozone Baby is pretty meh. Darling is a meh as well. Except I think Ozone Baby is slightly better than Darling. But also Montrex, it might be, might be one of my, is, pro, is actually not that bad of a song. Which is just not one of like the best songs I've ever heard. I could, you could be hearing much better. Or even on this album, it's just, it's, it's just mediocre. And then Wearing and Terran may be my favorite, but I'm not sure, I don't know, it's just, just not a perfect, not a perfect out song, and uh, not a perfect album either. So yeah, overall, Coda is a not, is a pretty bad album. Even if I think some songs are okay, I think the fact that they dropped this after John Bomb's death, it makes me so angry. And that's why I don't like Coda. So make sure you listen to every Led Zeppelin album until Physical Graffiti. Make sure you do that. Otherwise, I'll be watching you.